Hey guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So it is time for another book box battle video. These are my absolute favorite videos to make because I'm going to be battling two book box subscriptions against each other to see which box, in my opinion, did better this month. So we are going to battle fairy loot versus owl crates. That is right. I have been wanting to battle these boxes against each other for a long time, which means the next book box battle video will be lit joy crate versus shelf love crate. As a recap, fairy loot beat owl crate and lit joy crate last month. So will they win again? I don't know. I am really excited to see what we got. I think that both of these boxes actually have a ceramic mug in there. I'm not quite sure about Fairy Loot, but I know Owlcrate does. These are actually July's box. I'm a little behind, but they're here and we're gonna go ahead and unbox them. So that is what we're gonna be doing. If you're interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Okay, I really wanna start with Fairy Loot again. I'm so excited. This is only my second box from them. The first box I got was amazing. Sneak peek. And right on top is the spoiler card. I will keep that close in hand. And next we have, I think, a pin banner with, oh, and some string. So I guess you just tie this to the end. That is actually really pretty. I love the colors. I wonder, is this supposed to be Pegasus? What is this based off? The Percy Jackson series. Okay. So this actually makes my sixth pin banner. I've gotten quite a few recently, um, but good thing I love enamel pins, so I like this. And next we do have a ceramic mug. Ooh, this is pretty. So we have some different characters on there. Is this supposed to be Shadow Hunters? Shadow Hunters ceramic mug. Characters, Jace, Clary, Tessa, Will, Jim, Emma, and Julian. Ooh, okay, so I will admit the Shadow Hunter series is not my favorite series. Um, but this is really pretty. I love the design of it. And like even on the inside it has like bluish tint. So it's very pretty. Not my favorite series though, but I still really like this. You can never have too many mugs. Next I see a candle. It says a quart of candles, princess of Dissy, cotton, cinnamon, vanilla, a fairy loot exclusive. Okay, so just plain blue. Ooh, it does smell pretty good. Very clean. That must be the cotton and vanilla. I do like it. Princess of Dissy. DC. Oh, this is from A Curse So Dark and Lonely. That's who she pretended to be. I actually read that book within the past two months and it is so good I am ready for the next one so yeah I really like this and next we have like a little pink package that says discover your destiny what is this Ooh. oh <laughs> it was supposed to be a fortune cookie but mine has been crumbled <laughs> But let us read the fortune anyway. The heart is an arrow. It demands aim to land true from six of crows. Okay, that is very cool, even though mine came crumbled. And next we have, ooh, it's like a little zipper pouch. When in doubt, bravado, always bravado. Melissa Gray, the girl at midnight. I don't know if I've ever read that. It sounds familiar. Um, but yeah, it's actually a really pretty pouch. Uh, just black on the inside. It's kind of like that faux leather feeling. Old zipper. So yeah, I actually really like this. I'll put it in my purse and use it for something. We have a, I'm assuming, iron-on patch. I don't know what this is from. Let us see. Oh, no, it's a mug rug. Oh, so it's like a coaster. That makes more sense. And it's nine-tailed fox. Huh. I'm not familiar with this, but it's very pretty. So, yeah, that is cool. Ooh, and next we have the tarot cards. We have the sun. I'm assuming this is Ron because it looks like he has, like, the broken wand. And I'm assuming that this is pig which doesn't really make sense because 
he didn't get pegged till the end of book three, but he had the broken wand in book two, which was replaced book three. So he doesn't have the broken wand at the same time he has Pig. So I'm assuming this is Ron. I might be wrong. And then we have, oh, the moon, which of course is Luna with her quibbler and her glasses. Oh, I think this is my favorite one so far. I love Luna. She is one of my favorite characters. And then we have, ooh, it is a necklace. Welcome to Diagon Alley, fairy loot exclusive designed by Bookmark Tattoos. And it's like Gringotts with the dragon. And then you can see Fred and George's shop. Oh, that is awesome. I, I love this. I don't know if I would necessarily wear this, but it's still very cool. Harry Potter item, you guys know I'm gonna geek out about it. That is awesome. Okay, and we are finally to the book. We have our fairy loot pouch. Let us take it out. Okay, and it always comes with a bookmark. It's the same picture as our spoiler card, fairy loot, on the back. And we have an art print with the letter from the author on the back. So it kind of just shows the characters from the book this month. And the book this month is Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. But guys, hot pink sprayed edges. Oh, I love it so much. It is signed by the author. Let's see what it looks like without. So just a maroonish red with Wicked Fox on the spine. Okay, let's read the description real fast. 18 year old Gu Myung has a secret. She's a Gumiho, a nine-tailed fox who survives by consuming the energy of men. But she's also half human and has a soft spot for people. She won't kill indiscriminately. With the help of a shaman, Mi Young only takes the lives of men who have committed terrible crimes. Devouring their life force is a morbid kind of justice, or so she tells herself. But killing men no one would ever miss in bustling modern day soul also helps Mi Young keep a low profile. She and her mother protect themselves by hiding in plain sight. That is until Mi Young crosses paths with a handsome boy her age as he's being attacked by a goblin in the woods. She breaks her mother's cardinal rule, revealing herself and her nine tails to save Jihoon, Jihoon from certain death. In the process, she loses her fox bead. Her Gumiho soul, without it, she will die. When Myung and Jiyoon, Jiyoon next meet, there's no doubt they are drawn to each other. But their tenuous romance could be over before it even begins, as Myung's efforts to restore her fox speed by the next full moon ensnares them in a generation-old feud, forcing Myung to choose between her immortal life and Jihoon's, an enthralling tale inspired by Korean folklore and set in a rich contemporary fantasy world. Wicked Fox is an absorbing love story that heralds the arrival of an exciting new voice in YA. Ooh, that sounds so good. Oh, I'm excited. And guys, these pink sprayed edges are killing me. I love it. That is cool. So guys, that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at this month's fairy scoop. Again, this was Magic in the City, July. So we just have a interview with the author and it talks about the Wicked Fox read along, which will start August 12th. And then next month we have Things Are Not What They Seem. So we can expect items inspired by Stalking Jack the Ripper, The Lunar Chronicles, and Ember in the Ashes, Lord of the Rings, Mistborn, Graceland, and more. This box is jam-packed with goodies, but for now we'll only reveal that we're featuring an item we've never included before, and this box will also have a cushion cover. Ooh, so I'm excited about An Ember in the Ashes and Lord of the Rings. I have honestly not read any of those other books. I will try to read them before we get the box. But yeah, I love An Ember in the Ashes. I just finished all three books the end of last month. So good. If you have not read it, definitely read it. So yay, guys, that was everything from Fairy Loot. As always, you guys will have to let me know what you think. What was your favorite item, least favorite? Oh, gosh. Definitely for me, the Harry Potter items are my favorite. I know, shocker. Um, but I really liked the candle and the mug. I didn't really have a least favorite. If I did, I guess it would be the uh, fortune cookie. 
I mean, I actually like fortune cookies, so meh. But we still have Owl Crate to unbox. I do not remember the theme of this one either. Okay, sneak peek. And this is the spoiler card this month. Oh yeah, tournaments and trials. So spoilers on the back. First thing is a little Owl Crate bag. It is a puzzle, guys. That is fun. And I love this bag. I totally plan on using it for something in the future. So yeah, I actually really love puzzles. Xander, my son, is really into puzzles right now. Um, this might be a little too advanced, but we might do it together. So yeah, what is the puzzle of? So this is a 300-piece jigsaw puzzle. Um, Holly Dunn Design from the Night Circus. Ooh, okay. I have not read the Night Circus, but I'm excited. 300 pieces. Hmm. So next we actually have a lanyard, and it says, Bravery Hides in Amazing Places. So it has different plants on there. I have no idea what this is from. This is from the Selection. I have absolutely no idea what this has to do with the selection series with different plants. Um, I was I was actually really excited about the selection item because I love that series. But if this is, hmm, maybe that's a quote in there. I I don't remember that, but I still don't get the plants and stuff. I mean, it's a cool lanyard. Not my favorite though. But, okay. Next we have a little coin pouch. And it says, may the odds be ever in your favor. This, of course, is from Hunger Games. And it has, like, little arrows on the back. This will probably be really good for, like, chains or traveling. Maybe putting your rings in here. Um, so, yeah. I love the Hunger Games. So, that is really cute. And next, yes, we have a ceramic mug. This is the Owlcrate exclusive mug. I know this is one of the Harry Potter ones. Oh, you guys, it's the Triwizard Tournament Challenges. We have the challenge number one, which is getting the golden egg. And then we have the lake. And you can even see the mermaids down there. And then we have the maze. Oh, and at the very back right here, it is the graveyard. And it even has Tom Riddle's gravestone. That is so cool so black on the rim just white oh i think this is my new favorite harry potter mug but i've actually missed all of the other mugs so this is my first one. Oh, it's so pretty definitely my favorite item so far i love this next we have a deck of trading cards this is inspired by the gathering of shadows by v schwab designed with love by alcrate and michelle gray Ooh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, you guys. I don't know who these are based off of. I don't know what these characters are. Oh. This is amazing. I have no idea who these are, but... Oh my god, I love it. This is the coolest deck of cards I have ever seen. I cannot wait to use these. This is BA. That's... Wow. Next, we have our monthly enamel pin. This was designed in collaboration with Dust and Pages. Let's take a look. For those who don't know, the enamel pin is actually based off the book in the box. So I'm not sure what this is based off of. But that is really cool. It looks like a pair of scissors with some ribbon and we have a sun and moon. That's actually really, really pretty. This is one of my favorite that we've gotten. Okay, next we have just a art print that says people see what they wish to see from the night circus. Ooh, okay. Cool art print. Oh, and we just have a promotional thing that's super reflective. Kingdom of Souls by Rena Baron. On sale 9319. So looks pretty cool. Okay, we are finally to the book. As always, we get an Alcrate exclusive signed edition. Let us take it out of the plastic. This is funky. It is not a sticker, 
but it's like of the character in the book. It says, I'm tired of being told I'm not worthy. Hmm. And as always, we have an art print with the letter from the author. And this is the book, Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. Ooh, that looks really good. And it should be signed. Yes, signed by the author. Let's see what it looks like without. Okay, so just blue. I don't know if you guys can see, but we have a sun with a moon. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera. But then just a kind of rose gold on the spine. Okay, I'm going to read the description real fast. A gift tailor in disguise, three legendary dresses, the competition of a lifetime. On the fringes of the Great Spice Road, Maya Tamarin works as a seamstress in the shop of her father, once a tailor of renown. She dreams of becoming the greatest tailor in the land, but as a girl, the best she can hope for is to marry well. When a royal messenger summons her ailing father to court, Maya poses as his son and travels to the summer palace in his place. She knows her life is forfeit if her secret is discovered, but she'll take the risk to save her family from ruin and achieve her dream of becoming the imperial tailor. There's just one catch. Maya is one of 12 tailors vying for the job. The competition is cutthroat, and Maya's job is further complicated by the unwelcome attention of the court enchanter Eden, who seems to see straight through her disguise. But nothing could have prepared her for the final challenge, to sew three gowns so dangerously beautiful, it will take a quest to the end of the earth to complete them. Book one in the Blood of Stars duology. Ooh, this is giving me like Mulan vibes, and I'm loving it. I think I'm more excited to read the, the book from Alcrate over Fairy Loot. Okay, guys, that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at the pamphlet. Tells us a little bit about the author. And as you guys know, we have an exclusive cover. So this is the Alcrate, and this is the regular. I'm not really seeing much difference than the colors of this one being a little more bold. Hmm, not much difference this month. Do you guys see it? Let me know. And da -da -da -da. it shows all of the characters that are on the cards from our playing deck. Do I recognize any of these names? No, no I do not. What are these from? If you guys know what, what books these characters are from, let me know in the comments down below, because I have no idea. And then we have um, Kara Kozik, who made the amazing, beautiful mug. And it tells us a little bit about the photo challenge. And last but not least is August's theme, which we also have a card for, Storms and Seas. Ooh. And it says, every box will include an exclusive item from Riddle Tea Shop. Mm. You guys know how I feel about tea. But it says we can expect to find stunning items inspired by the Little Mermaid, the Scorpio races, Daughter of the Pirate King, Sea Witch, and more. Hmm, including some super cool items we've never included before. The only one I'm familiar with is Little Mermaid. <laughs> I have a lot of reading to do for both Alcrate and Fairy Loot if I want to know what the items are for. So yeah, that is next month. So well, guys, that was everything from Alcrate. As always, let me know what you think. What was your favorite item, least favorite? But definitely for me, the mug and playing deck were my favorite. These are gorgeous. Um, if I had to pick a least favorite, it would probably be the lanyard, just because I don't get it. Um, so yeah, not my favorite item. So guys, it is that time. It is time to reveal which box I think won for the month of July. <sighs> this is actually a lot harder than last month. Because I mean, if I go by which box had more items I liked, it would be Fairy Loot. But if I went by which box had my favorite items this month, it would be Alcrate. I really did like everything from Fairy Loot, but the playing cards and mug are just amazing. Oh, you guys. I really don't know which one to choose because I don't have like a set scoring system or deciding factor. It just kind of goes off what I like, what I'm, what I'm feeling. This is really hard, guys. 
Like, I don't know if Owlcrate should win because it actually had my least favorite item as well, but then it had my two favorite items. I don't always go by the number of items in the box because yes, we always get more from Fairy Loot it seems, but that doesn't always mean that they are the winning box. <sighs> Maybe I'm gonna have to leave it up to you guys. Like, I kind of feel like Fairy Loot should win just because their book had hot pink pages and that's freaking amazing. Uh, okay, that I'm just I'll create one. I'm just gonna make that decision. I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes trying to decide which box I think won, and I'm just picking I'll create because they had my two favorite items out of both boxes. So yeah, that's that's my answer to which box won. Wow, I have never struggled this much choosing a winner. But yeah, I'm just gonna say Alcrate because these playing cards are BA and I, a Harry Potter mug. I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but you guys will have to let me know if you agree with my decision in the comments down below. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>your names if you guys have been following me for a while you know that <laughs> cheese and crackers that was a trial just to get it out <laughs> okay so yeah y'all are not helping me at all this munch with munch for